Hi, this is Dr. Danielle Bauer here to review a airway analysis on the ICAST cone beam x-ray machine. You can see on this first view, this bottom shot right here is the traditional two-dimensional panoramic x-ray that you would receive from an office that is using only two-dimensional technology. What I'm going to show you is how we can look at the airways in three dimensions and see way more than what we can see on this x-ray. On here, I'm going to draw your attention to this one on the top right. You can see this little area right here is adenoid tissue, and it's a little bit enlarged in this particular patient. So you can see that right off the bat. If you want to look at that in other dimensions, I can scroll over to this side, and I can actually take a look at that tissue. And you can see it's right here, a little bit enlarged, taking up some of the airway. I can also look at each and every one of the sinuses on this particular x-ray. This one right here is being called the sphenoid sinus. This one over here is the frontal sinus. And then this one down here, which is the most common, this is the maxillary sinus. And this is exactly where a lot of problems occur in breathing problems and things like that. Right here, you can also see the nasal turbinates. This right here is the septum of the nasal bone. And we can also see here some issues and problems that may arise uh, with breathing difficulties in this area. So we can see in all those dimensions everything together. My favorite tab is this one right here where I can actually see everything in the 3D dimension. But the best part about this one is I can do an actual measurement of the airway. And because you can see right here, so this is the exact picture I just showed you earlier with the um, enlarged adenoid tissue. What I can do is actually take, measure some points along the airway and make a true measurement of this airway. So if you'll notice, there's some green area, a little more open airway, but look at where the big portion of the airway is behind the tongue. Do you see how it's red and almost even dark black? So you can see this is a really constricted area of the airway. And the total volume on this particular airway is 7.6 cubic centimeters of air, which is pretty constricted. So this would be a patient that might benefit from some expansion or even a visit to an ENT, depending on if that adenoid tissue is causing symptoms. So that's just a few ways that we can determine how we treatment plan for our orthodontic patients, whether we do expanders or just braces. So that's just a little sneak peek into that. Let me know if you have any questions on this. You can also change the views of this too, so you can really see the airway in multiple dimensions, not just from the side. Thank you for listening.